Occupy News Network. We're at the eastern end of the Axel Centre where two ladies just lock on to each other in the road to prevent the delivery of arms and equipment to the world's largest arms fair. Scheduled to happen next week. So we had a heavy police presence most of the morning and the uh, police decided to relax for a minute and literally a minute later they find themselves dealing with two activists locked onto each other in the road. So today was a day of uh, highlighting the link between the arms trade and refugees. Yesterday we achieved 11 hours of blocking the road at either end. Um, traffic's been very light here today on the Thursday, but the road is now blocked by activists. We have a refugee solidarity day. We have activists from the LGBTQ plus community. No pride in war. So a human wall of supporting activists are being pushed back. They get a better view of two activists trained together in the road. It really is no effort for us to come down here and oppose this. When what we're opposing is a humanitarian crisis in other countries, facilitated by the sale of arms. These activists have been on the floor for about 10 minutes. And the uh, Met Police cutting team have arrived, same crew as yesterday. So the activists have now got safety equipment on. They're putting shields um, between the cutting equipment, so cutting into the uh, suitcase over their arms. And now they need to start disassembling the suitcase. And it's a bag of tricks every time. What's in the suitcase? Nobody knows. It was heavy. Reinforced concrete. Reinforced concrete, <laughs> nuts, bolts, glitter. It could be anything. So in terms of uh, arrests over the week, we've had, I think, 57, there'll be a few more now, 57 arrests over the week uh, for civil disobedience. So I think all, maybe all but one, were for obstructing the highway, which uh, certainly is one of the least criminal things you can do in this country. And when you look at what you're trying to uh, prevent, when you're looking at the greater crime that can be prevented by the crime you're committing, I think laying in the road is a, uh, a reasonable exchange of uh, value. I'll exchange my value, I'll lie in the road, I'll block that road for an hour or two while the police try and cut you out. By doing that, I'll stop the facilitation of a global arms fair. So this is going to take a while. Um, previous lock-ons have taken a couple of hours. At one point, the uh, cutting team had so many lock-ons they had to recharge their equipment to continue cutting people off. Um, that won't be the case today, this will take an hour and 90 minutes to get through. I won't stream the whole way through it, but what you've witnessed here in London's East End, in London Docklands, are two female activists have lied in the road, they've chained themselves together and they're blockading the delivery of kitchen equipment to the world's largest arms fair. What we're seeing here is mass civil disobedience. We're seeing arrests that will probably get well over 100 by Saturday when our week of action finishes. This is 100 people that are willing to suffer the consequences in order to prevent a greater crime from happening. This is Simon for the Occupy News Network, signing off.